Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. I know we're running a bit behind and I do want to apologize, but we've been extremely busy. Anyway, so let's get into your reading Pisces. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of May 2020. I hope all of you guys are staying safe and sound uh, during these trialing times. Okay, Pisces, let's get into your reading. Now, in regards to your finances and the finance and business sector, you have the King of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For others of you, you may be actually getting advice or information in regards to business, in regards to making more money, or even in regards to an opportunity that opens up in the business that you're currently working in. Uh, the King of Pentacles could represent an Earth energy coming in, stepping in, trying to guide you. But this can also very well represent an opportunity that comes to you this month of May to be able to make side money. So when they say side money, it usually indicates making money outside of what your norm or regular job is. So keep an open eye and open mind in regards to that because I do see a new opportunity arising for some of you guys, it could be taking on in wanting to take on some type of entrepreneurship for others, making side jobs, making side money. Um, but all of these ideas that start to come come up for you for this month of May, I do see it actually rendering results. So pay very close attention to that, Pisces. Uh, for others of you, this could actually represent having a multitude of opportunities to make money. So very, very awesome card in regards to your finances. Okay, so in regards to your communication sector, how you're going to be communicating for this month of May, you have the Six of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles, you have a lot of earth energy here. Money coming in, definitely rolling in for you guys. I think that this month is going, this month going into June is going to be very prominent in regards to how you make money. Now with the Six of Pentacles, communication is going to flow very effortlessly. You're going to be very optimistic perhaps a little bit more optimistic than normal pisces uh, i do see very reciprocative type of energy communication flowing there's absolutely no miscommunications or anything like that i i see you really wanting to be or really communicating with family perhaps keeping tabs uh reconnecting sometimes for some of you guys with people that you're no longer dealing with or haven't talked to in a while if there was a falling out with a relative or something like that, I definitely do see communication opening up in regards to that specific situation. For some of you guys, if there is almost a feeling of um, there's been like lack of communication in the past, I definitely do see uh, communication opening up. So when I say communication, this could also represent, if it, it's difficult, a lot of you guys, if you experience that you tend to be more on the introvert type, I feel that for some of you guys, it's almost like a feeling like uh, coming out of your shell, um, being a little bit more social in regards to um, how you express your emotions, not necessarily on a social setting, but how you express your emotions. So I definitely do see you guys tapping in and having absolutely no problem speaking your mind or even biting your tongue. So that's a good thing. All right. So let's see what your obstacle is for this month of May. The obstacle to overcome you have the world card whatever is coming up pisces this could even be in regards to uh, relationships if there is a situation that arises where you have to make a decision and that decision is based off of past behaviors so what i mean by that is if you feel that you're getting to a point where you have to make a decision should you walk away or should you continue putting effort what spirit is telling you here with the world card embrace the changes pisces Embrace the endings that are coming because this is leading you towards a different path. Perhaps that's necessary for you. Don't try to hold on to a situation because ultimately what's going to happen is that it's not going to work out and your progress or where you should be walking towards is healing uh, may be delayed and it may be a little bit more difficult for you to pull away is basically what they're saying. So this could happen to have, uh, not just with relationships, this could be um, if you're dealing with people that are extremely negative, extremely toxic, 
whatever the situation may be, what Spirit is telling you is embrace these changes because they're taking you to a different era, a different, uh, a different cycle. And within that different cycle, uh, there's progress and there is movement should you decide to continue holding on to things that are no longer serving you. Uh, you're not only going to find yourself stuck, but you're also going to feel like things are not progressing in any shape, way, or form in any aspect of your life. And the reason for that is because you're not embracing these endings, okay? All right, so finally, let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to your love and romance. All right, you have the Hermit card. Some of you guys dealing with Virgo. Uh, for others of you, I do see a lot of Earth energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, now with the Hermit card, I feel that for a lot of you guys, um, especially those of you guys that have been in a very long-term relationship and you are getting to a point where you feel very suffocated or you feel like you're not accepted or like you're often being judged by your partner. Um, what Spirit is telling you here with the World card and the Hermit is that sometimes trying to force something to work only makes it more difficult. Why? Because you're prolonging the hurt of the process of coming to a conclusion. So what they're telling you here is that what you should be focusing on at this present time is healing, healing past wounds, healing things that you've been carrying for a very long time. Uh, even resentment, if you feel some type of resentment towards your partner, um, use this time wisely. For some of you guys, they're advising to take some time time away, time apart, um, give each other some space, some room, some being able to breathe. Sometimes that's necessary. Uh, like I said, holding on to something so fierce, fearlessly, uh, sometimes you tend to smother. And when we get to that point, we grow some type of resentment towards our partner or even ourselves for putting up with that. So again, um, what they're telling you, what they're advising here is if you're currently dealing with that type of energy, work on yourself, Pisces, focus on yourself. Don't jump from one relationship to another. Uh, it's about embracing, uh, not only being alone, but learning to be happy with yourself before getting on to move forward to another relationship. Ultimately, if you can make yourself happy, no one else is going to do that for you. Okay. And your final... Oh, I got two cards. Okay. Your final two uh, messages here is door to personal healing and happiness and deceit. So some of you guys are dealing with a situation that perhaps continuously you keep putting effort and energy towards a specific relationship and it's just not working out. You're to the point now where, again, they're highly encouraging you to heal yourself to heal the wounds and you're not going to be able to do that fixing the relationship and healing yourself at the same time you got you got to you got to pull away you got to make some type of distance to work on yourself now with the deceit card for some of you guys it could be that you came to the conclusion that no matter how much effort or work you put into a specific relationship. If the person by nature is deceitful and not completely honest, even withholding information from you is still deceit. So again, we go back to that having to really understand what is our priority. Is your priority at this present time to become greater, to be, to heal yourself and become the greater version of yourself or to continue forcing something that is not working at this present time. All right. I hope this gives you some type of clarity and I hope you guys are all staying safe. We'll see each other soon. Bye.